Welcome back to Sunrise Day. Well, yes, indeed, uh, we let's get into this. And uh, we're joined by Oko Obama, who is a member, or he was a member of the Legal and Security Directorate of the APC Presidential Campaign Council. He joins us this morning from Abuja. Morning, and thank you for joining us. So let me start off from here. I mean, going through what was what has been said yesterday. There's a lot of criticism barrage as a matter of fact and many almost everywhere you turn uh, at the moment are saying especially following comments made by members of your party about the president's campaign promises the 100 days one specifically many are of the opinion that your party failing the integrity test already you must have heard that haven't you yeah i've heard uh, but it is far from the truth how so? How uh, how the party failed the uh, 100 uh, days, uh, whatever. As as far as I'm concerned, the 100 days is nothing. All right. How do you expect the government to transform the country in 100 days? I mean, it is far fetched. Uh, it is a gimmickry, and uh, by those people who were afraid of uh, APC, who portrayed APC maliciously and falsely. An Islamic party, a northern party, uh, the president as a sectional person, and so forth and so on. Those forces, those forces of corruption coming together, you know, to try to discredit uh, this government, uh, that, that they, are, they are on it. So they come up with all type of uh, malicious allegations, false propaganda, like the so called 100 days promise, a, a document in circulation. We don't know about that document. I was in the APC Presidential Campaign Council. There's no document that the mandate from the Presidential Campaign Council saying that uh, the president will transform Nigeria into a land of uh, American money, as uh, they are trying to uh, portray. It's false. Well, Mr. Blah, um, did, did you see the document, and when did you see it? I have seen the document. It's a sham. It's a fake document. It's a bogus document. It did not emanate from APC. It did not uh, emanate from uh, President Mohamed Buhari. And it, it did not emanate from the mainstream media. It's not there. When check, did you see uh, Vanga, it? Check Guardian, check uh, Channel, uh, check uh, Premium Times, Sarah Reporters, all the major mainstream media. So I challenge you if you have it. I want Shania to confront me with that document signed when did you, by uh, APC, maybe the national chairman or the uh, director general of the presidential campaign council or the, even the president. When did you see the I document? You, the document that uh, a president promised that or APC promised. Yeah, that I know. When did years, you see it? They will turn Nigeria into Singapore. They will turn Nigeria into Denmark. Mr. Black, can you hear me? Yeah. When did you can see I the document? I have not seen the document because it is fake. I just read in the media that there is a document um, uh, that says uh, the president will transform uh, Nigeria uh, into a golden land in 100 days after PDP devastated the country in 16 years of misrule. And then you expect uh, Mr. President to transform the country in 100 days, a country that was devastated, a country that was on the blink. Uh, if you, if you, if you allow me, come in here, Mr. Uh, Obla. Uh, yesterday we had Al Haji Lai Mohammed, the party's publicity secretary, who also denied any knowledge of that. But uh, it would seem as uh, well seem inexcusable to Nigerians that the party is not telling them uh, some concrete, you know, form of achievement in a hundred days in office, which is almost the norm in most democracies, Nigeria. Uh, included here. So, could you yes, it, tell it, the people uh, a moment, please? A moment, please. A moment, because uh, the APC already uh, had told the people that they were coming to fix uh, the alleged rot in the system. How have this started? How has your party fared in the first hundred days in office? Well, in, in foreign affairs, uh, we have restored some measure of uh, respect for this country. Uh, I, I know uh, just uh, about four months ago, when uh, the Chad, uh, Nigeria, all those small countries were looking down on Nigeria because Nigeria couldn't assert itself. Uh, but in 100 days, we have made uh, Nigeria to earn a lot of respect, you know, from uh, 
other countries. Th that's but, uh, well, is that is that all that you can give to Nigerians? No, there, are, there, there are so many things we have done. Even in terms of uh, accountability, transparency, um, fighting corruption in the public service. Look, I can tell you that uh, uh, the the amount of stealing or corruption going on now is very, 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 very reduced as compared to uh, five months, six months ago. You d you don't have ministers yet. Look, so let, let me tell you, I, I am an activist. I've been fighting. Um, um, fighting the government, the former government of Prosper State, the Boke, I wrote several petitions asking for investigation of the government of Prosper State over some financial transactions. For the past five years, those petitions were not investigated. But now I can tell you that those petitions have been investigated. So that is it. I, a lot of investigations are going on. Everybody is on his toe. You know, for Nigerians, especially the ordinary Nigerian, he understands when you talk I, about I, I, uh, he understands you when you talk about the fight against reserve, corruption. But he I would love. Let, let me come. Let, uh, allow me. Reserve. Allow me finish. I thought you were done when let you talked about your investigations you. in Cross River State. Pardon? Uh, you, let me just key this in very quickly so they can respond to both. Uh, okay. you, you talked about fight against corruption, which you also said that some couple of uh, petitions you had written in the, in the past. Are being looked into. For some ordinary Nigerians, they think that uh, this is uh, not uh, going to amount to anything because uh, almost on a daily basis, the talk they hear from this government is fight against corruption and one probe to the other. From at what point do you think the Nigerian that is watching you now would start to see some of the gains of this government? We, we, we have seen a lot of gains in the fight against corruption. Just this morning, I, I read that some 13 ex-military chiefs are beginning to return one trillion. Is that not an achievement? One trillion. Ex-military chiefs. This morning, that was budgeted uh, to buy firearms for, for the military, but that were uh, misappropriated. They are now returning the money. Is that not an achievement? In, in 100 days, it's amazing. I mean, it's a, a staggering record, you know. It has never happened in this country, people returning money uh, to government coffers. And there's well, a they lot, they lot of uh, that is going on. I'm aware I, of that. I'm yeah, sorry, Dr. Mr. Obla. Fighting corruption is not all about putting people into, into jail. But I know that a lot of them are returning money that were illegally taken out of the treasury. Sorry. And I know a lot of civil servants are careful now. Public servants are careful. So okay. it's not an achievement. It's an achievement. Mr. Uh, Mr. Obla, can you hear me? Achievement. Yes, I can hear you. Go on. Cool. Investigation of corruption cases is an achievement. Because before now, cases were not investigated. You we ask me to, to go on and then you go on. Just a I moment, Mr. Obla, if I may come in. Yes, but, but they are not proactive.